Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are doing a take along video. So if you remember all the way back to my update video from late last year, you will know that once I'm done collecting Thomas Wooden Railway and once I'm done with my VHS collection, I want to move on to other forms of merchandise like Trackmaster and Take Along and Take and Play. And I was very fortunate to find this huge lot of take along stuff on Facebook Marketplace for actually a it's pretty it was a pretty expensive lot, but it's totally worth it. I paid about seventy five dollars for it, but the seller said there are a hundred and thirty five items in here. I'm not sure if that means a hundred and thirty five characters or a hundred and thirty five items. Take like Gordon, uh, separate him from his tender that counts as two items, or if she meant you know, counting Gordon and his tender, there are 135 characters in here. I wouldn't be surprised, though, because this thing is packed. This is a heavy bin, and I believe this is all take-along stuff, so you know it's going to be very high quality. I don't think there's a single take-and-play thing in here either, so... Yeah, we're just going to look through here and um, see what we got. So I'm not as versatile in take along and take and play as I am with Wooden Railway or the home media stuff, so I apologize if I get things wrong, but to my knowledge, I know take along was manufactured from 2002 to 2009 by Learning Curve, which is pretty interesting that they were doing this alongside Wooden Railway, but Learning Curve is synonymous with making really high quality toys, so it doesn't really surprise me. Anyways, we're just gonna, you know, go from the top and work our way down. So the seller only provided one picture for the lot. It was literally everything on top here. She didn't take it all out. So I have no idea what's at the bottom of this. I've only, um, per oh, excuse me, I hit the track button. I've only perused the top here. So it's a mystery what's underneath all this. But let's start with our good old friend Henry here. What I was really happy to find with this lot is that it's all pretty much in mint condition. It's insane. I mean, look at Henry here. You can't find a... I mean, there's like a couple of nicks by the cab there, but you can't find a nick on any of these items. I think one of the tenders has some rusty axles, but from what I've seen, that's the worst amount of damage. Like, he still has his eyebrows. I mean, the axles are, you know, in perfect condition. I believe this is a 2002 one. Um, I'm not sure. If you see... It's not gonna focus, but there's the those numbers right there. On the wooden railway items, those are usually the production like date codes. So this would have been made on the 245th day of 2006. I don't know if that's if that carries over to take long, but I mean the smoke box feels metal, so I assume this is before they switched over to the plastic smoke boxes, which is really cool. I believe they did that around 2007, 2008, maybe. I don't know exactly. So, yeah, Henry, really, really nice one here. I actually have a, a pretty decent take-along collection. Growing up, um, I was more into Thomas Wooden Railway. That's how I got into it. And I just, I also got into Trackmaster. That was more around um, 2010, 2011, around that time. Um, but then I got back into Wooden Railway around... 20, oh, 2015, 2016, around that, around that time. But I had a couple take-alongs growing up. Um, I had a take-and-play, or a take-along, excuse me, Thomas, that I got from a garage sale uh, for about 50 cents, I think. And that was the only one I had for a while. And then I had some various ones. Like, I had a 2012 Rusty that I got for Christmas, along with the, I believe it's called the Salty at the Docks, uh, four pack, but it had a take and place salty. It wasn't the big, the fat magnet one. It was the smart magnet one, but it was still in the take and play, the good take and play era. But he had some like fishing cars, which is pretty cool. It may have been called salty in the fish cars. I don't know. But here's Colby. This is actually a take and play or a take along. I'm gonna say I'm gonna mess up the names. I apologize. But this is a take along that I already have. Um, I'm pretty sure there are gonna be a couple of duplicates in here, so. Those will be going up on my eBay store. I have a link to that in the description of the video. So if you want to buy any of these, they might be up now. Uh, I'm recording this um, a couple days before it goes up. And I meant to say this earlier, but this video is kind of acting as an apology video. And 
a replacement video for my unscheduled stops remake. I'm pretty sure the community post will be out by now, but long story short, I'm delaying unscheduled stops until next year because I don't have enough time to finish it. It was going to come out today, but that's not going to happen. So anyways, um, uh, yeah, coldly, pretty nice. A bit of, um, not really damage, but some crumbs or dust or even sand right here by the wheel. So I'll have to clean those up. This is like the only Colby toy that has a good back face. It looks, it's not terrifying, but it's a lot better than, you know, the, the Ertl faces or the 1996 or so wooden railway one. So yeah, that's cool. This is one that I'm actually happy to get. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Donald is in here, but I do have a take along Donald, but he does not have his tender. So if there's not a Donald in here, then I got a tender for him. So that's cool. I'm just shot. Oh, it's a bit. Oh, it's. Oh, that's water. Oh, I had my. I set my water bottle in here. Um, just before I brought this down, and uh, I kind of spilled a little bit of it. So, some of it's going to be a bit wet. I also apologize if my voice is a bit shot. I've been talking a lot today, so it's a bit. Um, rusty. You may also notice that I'm in a different filming location. Um, I'm still in the basement. I'm just not in my studio right now because I have a set. Right. Um a set set up um for hunt the truck right now and i don't want to take it down so yeah we're just out here on the train table this is actually where i take all my pictures for my ebay store so yeah uh funny thing is i don't know this is kind of a weird thing to say but i just love this tender it's really cool i mean compared to the other ones it's really it's like way too long but who cares um let's go emily all of emily's actually up here so that's cool well, wow, her Emily herself is a lot heavier than her tender. That's crazy. That, this probably weighs about half a pound. Um, face is not too great, honestly. <laughs> um, but the rest of her, I mean, that's that's a really nice Emily model. And I love how the take alongs. I think some of the um early take and plays had their cabs molded, so that's really cool. You got like the firebox. That could be like the pressure gauge or safety valve. I don't know. That's the safety valve is this thing, but this could be like a pressure gauge. Oh, where it go? Yeah, right there. That could be a pressure gauge. You know, I don't know. I don't know anything about trains. But yeah, really nice. Not a fan of Emily at all, but oh, really cool to have her. Oh, let's go to this. Got a snowplow Thomas here. A uh, bit of an interesting face. He's just grinning like, mm -mm, hello. I love this snowplow though. It's so cool. This I think this came in a three pack. I could be wrong. But I believe this is based off of It's Only Snow from season six. So that'll be cool. I don't really intend on making um, take along or take and play videos. Because, I mean, when it came to the rolling stock, they didn't really do a whole lot. I mean... The only coaches they made, to my knowledge, were Andy and Clarabel. So, no Express coaches, no Henrietta, no Branch Line coaches. And I'm not a big fan of making customs for those because people usually use the flatbeds from the breakdown train, and I just don't like how that looks. And then people also use the Ertl coaches, which I have a couple of. And I just don't like that. So, probably won't ever see a take-along video for me, aside from this, but yeah. Here's the fog car. I believe this came in, like, the exact same two-pack as the Wooden Railway one, but, yeah, I really like this item. I don't actually have the Wooden Railway two-pack. I'd like to have it one day, but they're really nice. Of course, the batteries don't work. I mean, this is, what, when did this come out? Uh, it says 2006 on the bottom. So, you know, that's, that's, like, 18 years old almost. Crazy. Ooh, whiffy whiff. I love Whiff's faces and merchandise. They just get him so right. Yeah, love this guy. I believe on his Adventures model, maybe his Fat Magnet Take and Play model, if he had one, he had three different sizes of wheels. He had these small ones at the back, one bigger one in the middle, and then um, like this size of one in the front. So that's interesting that they added that so late in the game. I believe, no, these are the same size. I thought this one might have been a little bigger, but... Yeah, really nice. Put them right there. Um, a bit rocky here. <laughs> a 
Oh man, his face is massive. Look at that. Oh boy, I don't think his face is supposed to cover his whole front, but that's kind of funny. That's almost the exact same face as on the wooden railway one, if I remember correctly. I have, I don't have the learning curve one. I have the Mattel one, so his face is based on the CGI era. But I think this is pretty much the exact same one as on his um, 2006-2007 wooden railway model. And he still spins? Oh, he spins 360 degrees. That's cool. And then... I, I'm not really vibing too much with this arm. It's okay. I kind of wish um, the magnet here dropped down a bit, like the wooden railway one, but... Oh, well. It's cool how the arm moves, like, a lot. So I, I believe his flatbeds are in here, too, so... Cool. Oh, George is calling my name. Oh, boy, this model is also a bit weird. Oh, that face, it does not really do George a lot of justice. If it was smaller, I think I'd vibe a lot more with it, but... No, it's just not great. Even though he has his... Or even when he still has his smiling face, I'm not really vibing with it. I mean, if he had his angry face, I think it'd be a lot more appealing, but... No, it's just... Ugh, not great. But the rest of the model, fantastic. This is probably better than his wooden railway one, if I'm being honest. Yeah, love it. I don't know why the roll or the the rolling stock, the roadway vehicles have magnets on the back. I think it. I mean, it kind of makes sense with George because you saw in Steamroller, he was um I believe he was pulling a wagon or like a trailer behind him at the end. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. But when we get to like Birdie and Bulgy, it's like why? Why do they have magnets? Oh, going back to the snowy Thomas, we got a snowy Percy here. I believe I have this one too. So. Whichever one is in worse condition, I'll probably put on my eBay store. Oh, that's weird. Oh, they put snow on this side, but they didn't put it on this side. I mean, there's a little bit, but... Oh. Interesting. It's not a bad model. I mean, I don't... I might sell both of them. I don't really need a snowy Percy, but... It's still cool. Oh, I'm gonna run out of space pretty quickly. Oh, excuse me. Well, let's do a... Oh, yeah, it's hiding behind here. Let's do a two-for-one. I love these. I think these are some of the best pieces of Thomas merch ever. Um, I have this truck. I got him about three years ago, I think, and a lot from Once Upon a Child, which is like a secondhand baby store, basically, but it came with a top, two Thomases, actually, a Toby, a Toad, and then this truck with his coal of in Ertl carrying case, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I'm not sure if the coal load is in here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not, but I, I actually would be surprised if it is in here. So that's cool. But you know, this load is not removable, and I believe this, if it had working batteries, it would laugh. That's cool, but I love these faces. These are like exactly the same as the wooden railway faces, so. And I really like the black wheels. We'll see it later, I think. I'm pretty sure this. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure the, oh yeah, he's right here. We'll just do him, too. I don't really like how this truck has white wheels. It doesn't really contrast very well. I much prefer the black wheels. Looks much more slick. I don't really like how he has this red running board, either. It looks very toy-like, but oh well. We'll get him down. Love this one. Excuse me, let me have some water really quick. Sorry about that. I just ate before I filmed this, so... Still got some food in my throat. Um, never mind that, well, but... <laughs> Um, I think this guy is a little too long for my liking. I'm not the biggest fan of this truck, but they got his length right. Same with this one. But I don't know. I'm not really vibing too much with this one. Love the face, though. And I love that he has um, the laughing feature, but I don't know. Not great. And then, of course, we got this truck here. This was sold by himself. Um, these... Oh... These two came in a two-pack. I'm gonna I'm gonna put these front and center actually. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to shove you aside like that, but those are some of the best take long models in my opinion, so they gotta go front and center. Oh, let me put Emily right there. There we go. <laughs> this truck is okay. I like that he has that bobbing feature. Similar to how the wooden railway one um bobs back and forth and the other one kind of goes side to side. I like this one. I think he came with a load back in the day. Might be in here. Don't know. And while we're on the topic of troublesome trucks, we got one more. 
This one's the worst. <laughs> this guy just looks so high. I believe this came with a set. Oh, does he have a... Oh, interesting. His load can flip over. I think there's a Trackmaster um, item that does something like this. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure there is one, though. I think I have, like, two of them. I think this one could have been cool if, A, he had a different face, and B, if his chassis was black. But I think there's too much gray here. But it's still a nice truck. I mean, I mean, you can make a decent long line of trucks with this. Oh, you can't see this one either. I'm sorry. I'll move him right there. You can make a decent line of trucks with uh, what we have so far, but I don't know. They all look a bit strange, so yeah. You, yeah that's a really scary face. <laughs> um, let's put you right there. Who should we go to next? We actually have um, duplicates here. We got two Rusties. I don't know why we have two Rusties. Um, I'll examine them. Oh, this one, this one has kind of rusty axles, so I assume that's why. I don't know though, but I don't know why you would get another one just for that. But cool. I have the 2012 Rusty, so uh, one of these is going up on my eBay store. I got something on my finger, and then I'll keep the other one. Yeah, I like this model, but the face. The face is okay, but it kind of sticks out a bit too far for my liking. It's not a bad face. I like that it's small and not based off the uh, fat face, so that's a plus. Yeah, really nice. Oh, let's put them over there. There we go. Who should we go to next? Um, Let's get Murdoch here. He's as tender as easily accessible. I have... Um, the main Murdoch body here. He's in really bad shape, though. I think he's, like, this part of his buffer beam is gone. And his eyes are, like, colored in. And he did not come with his tender, either. So, oh, let me get on the right. What's the right way? This way. So, I'm really happy to have a Murdoch with a tender. The tender is ridiculously short, but that's not a big deal in my eyes. I kind of wish they gave him 10 drive wheels like he has in the show, but I don't think... I don't know which Trackmaster one has uh, 10 wheels, but it's still cool how they gave him these four massive wheels and then the trailing wheels up front. That's one of my favorite things about Take Along is that they actually gave the engines, for the most part, the right wheel configurations. Like, we'll see James, and then you saw Henry earlier has the correct wheel configuration, but when we get to push along and adventures later on and even take like fat magnet take and play good lord those wheel configurations make me want to throw up yeah really nice model i'm gonna put you right there there we go let's go to you guys want to do freddy next don't you that's a nice one i like that face he's in really good shape as well with a uh, what I don't want, I don't mean to sound racist, but with white characters, they tend to fade really easily and they get kind of sun tinted. But Freddy, I mean, that's like a pure white. That's really nice. I like that. He hasn't been faded, so I like that. Yeah, the face, really solid. It was Freddy, really cool. Awesome. Let's put you right there, dude. Oh boy. Ooh, Stephanie. Hey, um, Thomas Fifty Four Productions. This one is going to you. I'll actually sell it to you if you don't have it. Um, but um, Stepney is his favorite character, and I already have a Stepney. So, Liam, this is yours if you want it. Just leave a comment if you want it. Or text me. I don't care. I don't Oh, I just noticed this. Why is his cab filled in there? That's kind of odd. I mean, you look at, like, Henry here, and he has his full cab. Even, even oh no, Whiff, Whiff's is kind of um, blocked off. At the bottom there, but Stepney's is ew, not the greatest, but this toy is fantastic. I adore this face. This is the best Stepney face on any piece of merchandise. Love it. Yeah, this is a really nice model. Probably one of the best take alongs, in my opinion. I'm going to also put you front and center. There we go. Oh boy, who do we got next? Let's just. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, we got Bill and Ben here. Cool. I like these guys. Um, I believe Mattel released their versions with 
the correct, um, I guess, buffer beam where it kind of goes up a bit and then it goes down here a little bit. So if I ever find those, I'm going to get those instead because I prefer that over just the standard buffer beam here. But I mean, there's a good place to hold this for now. I had a Ben for a really long time, but he was super beaten up and I sold it, I think during the summer, maybe around like March or something. I don't know, but I did not really want that beaten up Ben, but now I have Bill and Ben and they're both, they're both in pretty good shape. I mean, they got a couple of nicks here and there, but yeah. And I love, the, this is a common criticism I have with Bill and Ben toys. A lot of them are just super long, like the wooden railway ones. I love those toys to death, but Bill and Ben are just way too long. But here, they're the proper length. They're nice and short and squat. I like that a lot. And I like that they have different faces. Really cool. Let's put them... Let's put them right here. There we go. Oh, I see one twin in there. I don't see his other one. Oh, screw it. Here's Bert. Another one where it's kind of ruined by the red buffer or the red running board. If this would have been like, I don't know what it's like in the show. It might be green like this. If it was, it'd be a lot better. But the red one, I'm just not a big fan of. I don't know. I don't like it. The face is really cool. That's pretty much the wooden railway face, but it's still cool nonetheless. Yeah, really nice. 2006. That's like the, I think some Thomas uh, Wooden Railway stuff was made in this factory because I recognize that font. Interesting. I think I had a, fr yeah, I had a friend growing up. He had a metallic um, Arium Burr and I thought those were super cool. I mean, he said that his, his grandma had made them, which I knew was a big lie, but he didn't tell the truth a lot. Oh, I thought this was um, a Mattel Percy, but it's just a standard Percy. So cute though. I just, I love this shade of green. It contrasts so well with the red and the black here. Love it. Faces, eh, faces, all right. Oh, he's got a bit of a, oh, I got it off. Yay, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. Cute little guy. I like him a lot. Oh boy, a uh, Percy you can go, actually no. Oh, you can't even see. Oh, you can see Winter Percy kind of. I'll get rid of Donald's tender because I see Donald in there, so I'll give him his tender in a second. Um. Oh my gosh, my favorite character. Everybody's favorite character. Bitty. Probably the worst condition one we've looked at so far. I mean, you can see his cab has a lot of edge wear. His eyebrows kind of uh, rubbing off, but it's Billy. No one gives a shit about Billy. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I don't. The Wooden Railway Billy is the only Billy toy I don't have. I, for some reason, have the Trackmaster one. Oh, or like the Motor Road and Rail one, whatever. Why isn't this hair coming off? There we go. And now I have the Tig Along one, so. Wooden Railway one, you're next. Just kidding. I'm never getting another Billy toy. Because Billy is the worst. Um, we got more twins here. Max and Money. Oh, that. That, look at that nose, his nose. I don't know if that's due to the previous owner, but his nose is, it's obviously like kind of chipped off, but it looks a bit fat. I don't know. Uh, Monty doesn't have his dumper. I believe I saw the dumper in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I saw it, I'm pretty sure I saw it in the listing. Oh, here it is. Phew. I got a little scared there. I thought he wasn't gonna have his dumper, but let's see if I can get it on. There we go. Excellent. I'm not a big fan of the white dumpers. I, oh, it's kind of wet. I realize that Monty is probably the one that got the most wet because he was right on the top, but oh well. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the white dumpers. I prefer the gray ones, uh, kind of like the dark gray ones on the wooden railway models. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know the Adventures ones, I think, were they released in Take and Play as well? I know they have the white dumpers and they didn't look fantastic, but yeah, really cool. Why do they have buffers? What? I just realized that. Why do they have, do they have buffers on the, that's a big fail. <laughs> they have a whole buffer beam on the back. Well, uh, Learning Curve did not do their research there. Uh, hey, Learning Curve, I know every single one of you drives a car, but 
Cars don't have buffers. Cars or trucks, whatever you want. Speaking of cars and trucks and buses and whatnot, OG. Hey, look at that face. That's a great face. So I bet they didn't give him a smiling face. I don't think any bulgy toy has a smiling face because this wooden railway one looks really pissed off as well. Oh, do they have? Does he have? He has. <gasps> he's got seats inside. That's such a cool attention to detail. Not on the top. Oh, there's not even a top floor. Oh, that's kind of sucky, but he does have seats molded in there, so that's really cool. This stairway, like, this door is really narrow. That's, you couldn't even, like, you couldn't even fit an ant in there. Yeah, why does he have a magnet on the back? I don't understand. He doesn't pull trucks. He doesn't pull coaches. He doesn't pull other vehicles. I don't know. Yeah. I'm really happy they didn't, like, black out his windows. Um, I don't think there's an example in here because the learning curve is an S-tier toy maker. But Oh, like, Rocky here. Let me... Got a lot from Joy. You see how Rocky's windows are blacked out? They could have totally done that with Bulgy to save some money. And if Mattel made this, I guarantee you they would have blacked out the windows. So, good on you, Learning Curve. I'm not a big fan of the gray wheels. I wish they would have been black, but that's okay. This is a nice model. Wow. Put them right there next to George so they can F around together. Ooh, who do we want to look at next? Let's look at some rolling stock. So we got a popcorn car, and we got a jelly bean car. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we got some kernels on the top. Oh, we got some sticker kernels in there as well. And then we got some jelly beans. I'll probably eat these after the video's done. I'm really hungry for jelly I'm actually really craving jelly beans, so I'll probably crack this open when the video's over. Let's, these aren't as important, so I'll just throw them back here. Sorry. Um... I upset all the fans of the jelly bean tanker. Oh, a cotton candy car. That's even more cool. Even more cool. Even cooler. That's that's the proper English I was looking for. Cool. It's actually got... I don't know if that's actually... I highly doubt that's actually cotton candy, but I assume it's probably like foam or cotton or something, which is kind of cool. Yeah, not too bad. Um... I have this, um, mine's a little beaten up, and I know this came with pipes, and you, you hit the button on the top here, and the thing opens up, and the pipes launch out. Don't know if the pipes are in here, if they're not, oh well, I'm not really gonna play with this, so, yeah, kinda cool, I guess, it's not, like, special or anything. Um, let's go to our good old friend, Bully McGuire. I already have a Toby, I think there's another Toby in here. Yep. So I got three Tobies. Yay! I'm definitely going to be selling um, two of them, though, because I don't need three Tobies in my life. But this is a nice model. I like that. I believe this is where his bell would... Or no, is this his bell? What's this, then? I have no idea. I don't know, but that's his funnel, for sure. That might be his bell. I don't know. But what's this, then? I, I have no idea. Face is decent. Not great. Not terrible, but... Oh, well... Yeah, Toby. Great. Sorry, I know my voice is starting to go. You're just going to have to bear with it. This video might be an hour long. I don't know. We got so much to go through here. What's this? Oh, cool. Oh, other side. It's a little um, holiday um, postal car thing. We got toys. This is actually very fitting for the time. Uh, I know it's not Thanksgiving yet. No. Nope. No, nope, Thanksgiving would have just passed when this is uploaded. But I'm when I'm filming this, thank, blah, 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 Thanksgiving is in two days. So we got mail. Uh, we got some stuff to Thomas and to Percy. And then it's back to toys. That's really cool. I love this. I know there were there were some box cars that had um like you can do the same thing, but there were stills from the episodes i know there's a i think there's a jack jumps in one which is really cool and there's like a little viewfinder in the front i'd love to get that someday oh man that's a pretty good phase actually um i hope her flap it is in here i don't actually own a madge toy so 
really cool. Madge is one of the most under, oh. Oh, well that's kind of lame. So on Madge's actual prop, um, she has three wheels. She has um, these two wheels in the back and then one wheel in the front so she can turn um, better, but she has two here, which is interesting. Yeah, cool. Oh, she's got buffers as well. Larry Curve, what are you doing, dude? But yeah, Madge, Madge is one of the most underrated and forgotten characters in all of Thomas, but she's such a fascinating one as well. I mean, I think the last time we saw her was in The Great Discovery. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool toy. I really hope her flatbed is in here. That'd be really cool. And I just saw an item that I'm very excited for, so we're going to pull her out next. Da -da -da -da. Daisy! Oh, that's an interesting face. <laughs> I I know Daisy's um actually a very hard model to find. Um, they actually interestingly enough, they made all of the characters from the railway series that were in the show apart from Boko. I don't know why. And then that was the opposite for Tommy and Trackmaster. They made every character except for Daisy, which is a bit odd. But oh well. I was never a huge fan of this giant gap between the bogies, but. I, I mean, that's probably prop accurate, but at least they have this little thing here. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's for fuel or something? I don't know. But yeah, I'm so happy they actually made a Daisy toy because she's one of the most uh, iconic characters, honestly. I mean, she's one of the only female characters in the original series, so it's cool that we got a toy of her, and it's, it's a spectacular toy as well. Probably one of the last Daisy toys made, honestly. I know this came out around the same time as the re-released Wooden Railway Daisy, so very cool. And it's a very hard model to find as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think this goes for about 40 bucks on eBay, so yeah, let's put Daisy next to Murdoch here. All right, who do we want to go to next? Um, oh yeah, we got Edward here. Edward! Oh yeah. Interestingly, um, the tender engines have buffers on both sides. I guess that kind of makes up for Push Along having buffers on the wrong side. Like, they, they have the buffers on this side instead of the back, so... I guess there's not really a wrong way to connect Edward's tender, but... Cool. Yeah, I love Edward. This model is so good. I love it. And there's, not a, there's hardly any nicks on this thing. I was really concerned about the faces. I really want them to have their, excuse me, have their eyebrows. And so far, all of them do, except for the spawn of Satan right there. But yeah, really happy to um, have basically mint condition take alongs. I mean, these are almost, these are probably over 20 years old at this point. So it's really cool that they're still in almost perfect condition. I mean, they're a bit dusty. I think Edward's got a bit of dust on his um, boiler there, but that could be easily cleaned. Oh boy, Edward's another good one. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Edward right next to Emily here. Then they can recreate that dream sequence from season 24, that abysmal one. Oh dear. We still have so much to go through. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, here's a forgettable one. Molly. Um not a oh what is her what way does her tender go? Does it go this way? Oh, no. Wait, it does, right? Yeah, because the lining on the back here. I don't know. Molly's a totally forgettable character, so I don't really care. But this is a nice mod, I gotta say. Face is... It's actually not that great. <laughs> it's based off the uh, fat Molly face. I wish we got a small Molly face um, in merchandise, but... Oh, well. I don't actually have a wooden railway Molly. I, Funnily enough... I've had two Molly tenders in my life, but I've never had the engine, so really cool to finally have her. Yeah. I feel like this is kind of the era where they start to get a bit cheaper because Molly's not as heavy as other ones, like Emily here. Very heavy, but Molly, eh, a little bit of weight, but oh well. Oh, uh, let's put Molly uh, facing away from the camera. <laughs> Now uh, we got the breakdown train here. Or I guess the crane. We don't have the flatbed just yet. I assume it's probably in here somewhere. I like this model. 
really nice. It's very reminiscent of season one, in my opinion. I don't know, I just, I adore it. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Look at that. They got bolts and wrenches and a screwdriver molded on here. This is why I love Learning Curve. They go the extra mile to give you great toys. Love this thing. It spins very well. Crane moves well. Love it. I wonder if you could fit an engine on the flatbed because wooden railway, um, you couldn't when they whatever they had like flatbeds or cargo cars, you notoriously couldn't fit an engine on them. And that was the whole appeal of the breakdown train is you could fit engines on the flatbed, but you couldn't do that in wooden railway. So, oh well. Oh, we got a. I think this is yeah. This is Easter, I guess. We got a little Easter car here, McColl's farm. I assume this is for Easter. I could be wrong, but. Cute little, little chicky chick right there. Camera's not gonna focus, I apologize. Oh, um, again, we'll throw him in the back here with the other rolling stock. Oh, good old Thomas. What would we do without you? This is a different Thomas, actually. He has a weird face. Is this rare? I don't know. It's, I have another Thomas right here. This is the standard face. But what was this face included? Look, what was this version included with? Was it in a set or something? I'll have to do some research after the video. But yeah, really cool. I think I prefer this face over this one, honestly, but still really cool. But this Thomas is in mint condition. This, I can't, I can't find a mark on this thing. Not a mark. I assume this just, oh, uh, I was going to say a bad word. I assume this just sat on a shelf its entire life. This thing is, wow. This deserves to be displayed on the shelf. This is a 20 year old toy and it's in mint condition. Unbelievable. I'm gonna put you right here next to Edward. And then weird Thomas, you can go right here and stop the troublesome trucks from running away. I saw this um, earlier, um, Busy B. James Tender. Um, I hope Busy B. James is in here, but for now, Oh, oh yeah. For now, we'll just set them right in front of the box here. Oh, we got them right here. My favorite, Donald. I really hope Douglas is in here. I love Donald and Douglas. They're my favorite characters. And if Douglas is not in here and everybody else is, I'm going to be so mad. But yeah, love this guy. I almost got to take along Donald and Douglas off of eBay a couple of weeks ago. I almost did, but... I guess God knew I was going to be getting this lot. So he said, nope, you are not going to get that. You're going to get this lot, and you're going to save a lot of money. Well, I didn't save a lot of money. That lot was probably like 20 bucks. But in the grand scheme of things, if I was to buy every single item here off of eBay, it would have cost me like my college tuition prices, honestly. But yeah. Really nice. Let's get his tender here. I'm just going to move some things around here. I'll get rid of this foghorn car because you guys probably don't really care about that. Yep. Yeah, Donald with his tender looks really cool. I'm going to put him right next to Henry here. Two of my favorite characters. Okay. Duncan out of the way here. This is so weird to me. This was one of the first take-alongs ever introduced. I don't know what it is. Is it because Duncan's yellow? And he's got these ugly as F white wheels. I don't... I don't like these. I'm going to come in with a Sharpie later on and color in these wheels, but why do they have to make them white in the first place? This is like a 2004 Wooden Rally Reneus syndrome all over again. It's not a bad model at all. I like it. It's just, when I think of Take Along, I think of Duncan, because he was one of the first ones ever released. Oh my goodness. I'll put him right there. Okay. What do we go to next? Gordon. Bit of an odd face, I'm being honest. That does not look like Gordon. I assume, if I can find a picture, I believe they're trying to go for this face. Oh, let me get him in focus. I believe they were trying to emulate, emulate this face, but I don't know, it just didn't really pay off that well for me. The rest of the model is okay. I mean, his boiler is really thin. Oh, he's got a hair on him. His boiler is very thin, and that's not very appealing, but... You know, his wheel configuration is almost correct. I believe he's supposed to have one more set of um, leading wheels up here. Yeah. Again, almost in mint condition. You just got that one nick on his splasher here. But, yeah. Really great. I 
hope his tender is in here. I don't see it right now. Hopefully it is. But I'm... Oh, you can't see this. I'm gonna move this back. Oh, no. Because you can't really see what's in there. Um, I'll put Gordon... Put him back here by Duncan. There we go. You guys probably all saw this guy. Ned! I, I believe this is the only Ned toy they ever made. Which is fascinating. There might be a Capsule Playground one. Maybe a Trackmaster one. But there sure as hell wasn't a Wooden Railway one. And this this thing is fantastic. Look at this arm. This arm moves. This part moves up and down. And even his bucket moves. This is a phenomenal toy. This is great. I love this. Really cool. And they got his face. Pretty perfect. Love this. This is so cool. I adore it. Uh, let's put all the the roadway characters next to each other. There we go. Oh, another Toby here. Oh, it's different. Oh, that's cool. Soda Carnival Toby. I assume this probably goes with um this popcorn car here. I don't know. I'll have to do some more research, but I was really expecting. Oh, oh I just saw a really cool item. I was expecting this to be just another standard Toby, but. It's a variant, so I'm going to keep this one. Yay. I will sell that one, though. So if any of you want a Toby, go ahead. I just saw this one, and I freaked out because Hector... Oh, my God, that is a beautiful face. That is bang on accurate to this face. It is... Wow, that's... This is a great toy. <laughs> um, I actually really want the wooden railway one. I'm to get that relatively soon. I don't know. Hector's just such a fascinating character to me. But I love this item. Yeah, you could totally fill this up with like coal or ballast or macaroni and cheese or ketchup or something. Don't do don't do that because I would wreck the model. Put mashed potatoes in instead. But yeah, phenomenal. And I love the little red buffer beam here to add a nice amount of breakup to his color here. And for those who don't know, Hector's name is an anagram, I believe. Is that's that's what the phrase is? But it, um, Hector stands for heavily engineered coal truck on rails. I guess his name in the show or in the U.S. though would have to be Hecker, Hecker, because we don't say truck in America, we say car. So heavily engineered coal car on rails. So his name is Hecker now. But yeah, adore that face. That's phenomenal. That's another. I'm gonna put this one on a shelf. This is phenomenal. Oh, you can't see him. Sorry, Billy. You're going to get out of here. I don't like you. Oh, boy. Um, we got another hit character here. Rosie! This one is a bit odd to me. I feel like she's a bit too short. I complimented Bill and Ben on being the correct length, but I feel Rosie isn't the correct length. I think she's supposed to be a bit longer, but... Oh, well. I'm not a big fan of Pink Rosie. I wish they would have made a Red Rosie in take-and-play form, but... By the time Red Rosie came along, that was when we were in the Adventures era. There's not an Adventures Red Rosie. There's a push-along one, though. I'd like to get that one someday. But I have the... Do I still... No, I don't have the... I cut up the 2019 wood one, and I have the 2022 wooden railing one. That model is spectacular as well, but this one is fine in its own regard. Put Rosie right there. There we go. Um, I just saw him. James! Really cool. I love the take along, James. I love that face. I know it's inaccurate and it's based off of that marketing um, promo, I guess, but it's still a nice model. And I believe his tender. Oh, he's got two tenders. Oh, so he is the Flying Scotsman. Okay. There might be another. Oh, there's another James right here. This one's a lot more. I guess crusty, so that's probably why there's another James here. I believe all oh, these both have kind of rusty axles. This one has rusty air axles. This one just has the top one that's a bit rusty, but I assume these two I assume these two go together, so I'll put them together when I sell them on eBay. And then I'll probably keep these. Let's put you back there. If we get uh, a busy with James in here, we can recreate the Spider-Man meme. 
Here's Mighty Mac. Well, that's cool. His eyes aren't facing straight on. They're facing, well, to our left, his right. So, cool. I love that face. Though. That is a bang on accurate face. Oh, Mac looks a little derpy. He's like, do 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 do. Uh, yeah, really nice one. I love this basis. The basis for this item or for this engine is so cool. Yeah, like this one a lot. Really cool. Man, I'm gonna have to get a whole nother shelf for my office just to display all of these now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we got two salties here. Pretty cool. Exactly the same, so no special variants or anything. At least that I can tell right now. Yeah, both from 2006. You can tell on the bottom there. You can't really see, but yeah. This one was made, if the production codes are the same as Wooden Railway, this was made on the 259th day of 2006. This one was made on the... Oh, will it focus? 273rd day. Oh, but in different factories, I don't know. You can see those last four letters there. I believe those are the factories that these are made in. Cool. I have a Taken Place Salty from 2012, like I mentioned earlier. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Salty. And I believe they're almost exactly the same, so I'll probably sell both of those. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oliver! I already have an Oliver. <laughs> um, I got Oliver about a year and a half ago in a, another Facebook lot. It wasn't a take-and-play lot or a take-along lot. It was a wooden railway lot, but Oliver was in there, so... Cool. But Oliver is another rare one. He goes for about 40 bucks because, I mean, he was only made for, I think, one year or so. So, yeah. Also, I don't really need two of them. So, even though he's one of my favorite characters. And because he's a favorite, I'm going to put him... Oh, no. Sorry, I had to move these ones over here. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put him right there. And we're on the topic of Oliver... Let's go to Toad here. Again, I already have a Toad. I mentioned how I got Toad earlier, but I've had my Toad for about... Um, oh, I got water on me. Sorry about that. I've had my Toad for about three years now, so I don't need this one, so I'll probably sell him as well. Put him behind Oliver. I'm yearning for a Douglas. If there's a Douglas in here, I'm probably going to freak out. Let's go with this one. Aquarium car. Was there another one in here? Not that I can see, but I'm pretty sure these are released in a two-pack. Like the wooden railway ones. So, shark car. Cool. I don't know what these numbers mean down here, but it's in the standard Thomas font, so that's really lazy. We got a happy birthday car here. I don't know why there's water surrounding these presents. I mean, the presents are going to get all soggy. Come on, dude. And there's a cake in there, too. The cake's gonna get soggy. What is wrong with you people? Come on. Come on, learning curve. Oh, we got another one of these weird cars. Soda Orange Grove. That is... That's interesting. Huh. Wild. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the color of yellow, but... This one's <laughs> kind of overwhelming to me. I'm going to stick you back here with the other ones. Oh, wow. He saw his, how high his arm went. Oh, it's kind of stuck there for now. Oh, that's cool. It's not like a free-falling crane. You actually got to put a bit of effort into moving it. But here's Butch. Really nice face. It's kind of big, but... Oh, well. Excuse me. Again, with the buffers. Learning curve. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, cool magnet. Well, it's not a magnet. I mean, in the CGI series, it's a magnet, but um, on this, it's supposed to be a hook because he's just a normal breakdown crane or a breakdown truck. Tow truck. That's what he is. Not a breakdown truck. What am I saying? Cool. I'll put him behind Stephanie right there. Spencer. I have a Spencer already, so whichever one is in better condition, I'll keep. I don't know why they use this face on um the wooden railway one and this one it's so derpy i know he had this face in the show but i don't know 
I wish they gave him a more grand face. Like, mm. I mean, this one's kind of grand. He's like, mm, yes, I'm the Duke and Duchess's private engine. I kind of wish he was silver, though. I know in the model series he was... I don't know about... I don't know about the later seasons, like season 11 or so, but I know for a fact in season 7 he was just a plain white. I, he might have been painted silver. Actually, you know, he was painted silver in season 11, now that I think about it. I mean, I could be wrong, but... I don't know, I'm pretty sure I remember that. I know in the CGI series he's very silver. So. And I believe his tender was in here? Yep, right here. Cool. Again, like Murdoch down there. Very small tender. <laughs> Oh boy. Sorry, I'm my the way I have my tripod set up is really odd. My legs are in between the tripod legs, so I can't really go around to the other side of the camera here. Because I gotta I'm sitting in a chair right now, so I gotta awkwardly reach around here. Sorry if my face is not getting in the shot. I think it was, yeah. There's me. Hi. <laughs> um let's do another two for one. Oh, these are so cool! Oh my gosh! Jack and Alfie. I don't have a wooden railway Alfie. I'm working on that right now. I'd like to get him eventually. Oh, shit. Did I just break it? Oh, good. I thought I broke it. <laughs> but I'm Jack and Alfie. I don't like how loose Jack's bucket is. Like, I set it up to be like this, but it went back down to this. So, hopefully it can stay up like this. But, yeah. Nice. Nice little guy here. Of course, we got Alfie. Again, like Ned, his arm moves a lot, and his bucket swings as well. I like that a lot. I believe... Is this magnetic? It is! Yay! Yeah. Look at how small his face is. It's so little. Yeah. And he's got a magnet. It looks so odd, because Alfie is flush with his chassis, so it looks super weird sticking out. And then with Jack, it's also a little weird. Like, oh my goodness. But yeah, these are these are great. I mean, we got a decent amount of the pack characters. We got what? One. We got five already. Wow. Oh boy, I'm going to have to... I'm going to go around to the other side of the camera so you don't see my face again. Sorry. I think my mouth might have gotten in the way, so I apologize. Okay, let's get back down here. I saw Madge's flatbed, so let's pull that out. Give it to Madge so she can be complete now. Let's just test with Thomas here. No, this is... No, no. We're going to get Duncan because in Cool Truckings, she carried Duncan. So does he fit? He fits and he connects. That is so cool. I adore that. Guys, I'm going to be remaking Cool Truckings. Look out for that uh, tomorrow. No, just kidding. I love that. And I love that she has the tracks printed up here. I believe the Wooden Railway one did the same thing, but I don't know. I just I just dig this one a lot more. And Duncan is a lot more secure, I imagine, than on the Wooden Railway one. So, really cool. Okay, where did Madge go again? Oh, right back here. You can't really see the flatbed, I apologize, but... Oh, well. What's this? Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier! Oh, this is a faulty whistless car. Let's see if you can see it, actually. Oh, you can! Look at that! Let me get it right up to the camera. Sorry. Look at that. I don't think it's going to focus very well, but that's from the beginning of the episode. Let me just flick it to the other side. Oh, what's that? Was the credits? Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> and then the next one... Sorry. That's Peter Sam. Yep, there you go. Let's see if there's any different ones. Yep. Duncan. Oh. Sad Peter Sam. Is this going to show the whole episode? That'd be sick if it did. Uh... Duncan and Peter Sam. I think this is going back to the beginning, though. Oh, no. Duncan with the headmaster and his cars. Duncan and Elizabeth. 
Speaking of Elizabeth, I saw Elizabeth's um bucket in here, so I assume Elizabeth is in here. <gasps> I saw one of the lorries! Yeah! Um, Duncan again. That's an alternate angle. Cool. The headmaster. Sorry, this video is gonna drag on so long because of this. Oh, Duncan and Terrence. Duncan without the whistle. Duncan and the headmaster again. Headmaster and the boy. Okay, again. Sorry, I should be doing some more interesting commentary, but I'm just fascinated that this kind of thing exists. So this might have, this probably came out right around the time of season six. That's the, oh, that's the end of the episode. I believe that's the last one. Nope. Oh, wait, is this going to? Oh, no, I thought that was, that was from Duncan Duncan. Nope. And then Peter Sam again. I believe that was Peter Sam Studios' old profile picture. Maybe it was one of them. I don't remember, though. Chase, let me know. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I can't center for my life. Cool. I think that was the last one. Let's move on. Yep, that was the last one. Okay. That was cool. Um, if you guys remember back to, like, the VHS days of Blockbuster, there was this thing called Be Kind and Rewind. They technically were kind, and they rewound it for me, so that's cool. Oh, what? This is a wooden railway piece. That's so cool. I don't actually have this. I've been looking to get some of these. I really want to do a Flying Kipper remake, but I need some more fish cargo, so I'm really happy to have this. Thank you, seller. I know the seller also had some wooden railway stuff. I don't need any of that, so that's why I didn't get it, but cool. I'm waiting for a Douglas. I'm just gonna look through and see if he's in here. Oh, I see a Douglas Tender! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Douglas Tender. Let's see if Douglas is actually in here. Come on, dude. Please, Douglas, please. Aha! Yay! Awesome! Now I have all my favorite characters in Take Along. Those being Donald, Douglas, Oliver, and Toad, and Henry. And speaking of Henry, oh shoot, don't want to break this wheel. Henry's tender. Cool. Yeah, I'm really happy to have this. It's so cool. I got kind of scared there. I thought Douglas wasn't going to be in there because. That's kind of like the Ertl situation. For those who don't know, I have a pretty decent Ertl collection. And I have almost every character from the first four seasons. But I got it in a lot from a seller a couple of years ago. The only character they didn't have was Douglas. And I was pissed off. Sorry, I'm going to move the camera just a little bit so this is centered. Okay. PP Sam. Really cool. Shout out to Peter Sam Studios if you're watching this. I know he left. He's not really interested in Thomas anymore, but Chase, if you're watching, hi. Cool. You can have this if you want. I just, I don't care. No, I'm going to keep it. I'll send you a Peter Sam one day, Chase, I promise. We got so many items left. <laughs> like, oh, this video is going to be so long. Another standard Thomas. Basic. Um, what's this? Jet. What was I saying? What was I saying? This is a Jack Jumps In one. I'm not going to go through this one because that took way too long earlier, but I'm sure the pictures for this are online somewhere, so you can go and look for yourself. But that's so cool that both of them were included. This is a cool piece. The mail car. It's kind of weird that the top, that it's just, it's not like the standard box car, but it's still a fascinating piece. And I wish I could get a couple more of these so I could recreate Percy pulling the mail train. Yeah, I got the letters on the top. That's sick. 
God, where can I put this? Put it right there next to Hector. What else we got? Another one of these holiday cars. Is this the same one as earlier? Where'd that one go? Oh, here it is. Yep. Same one. Cool. Probably give one of them away. Maybe I'll include it in, um, like, another listing for free because it's Christmas time. Stone Pat's car. Nice. I wish it was the whole closed-off car instead of a convertible, but... Oh, well. Why does it have a magnet? I don't understand. Put you right there. Paint Splattered Thomas. This one's really cool. It's not as covered in paint as the wooden railway one, but this one's still a novelty. Cool. I kind of like that face. If you didn't have the little teeth painted in up there, this would be an instant 10 out of 10 face. But I think the teeth kind of throw it off a little bit for me. But Oh, well. I, I'm pretty sure this is every single um, take or take along item. I'm pretty sure, which is crazy. What's this? A uh, rescue train thing. Um, there's a similar item to this in Wooden Railway, but it's got a lot of moving pieces, which is cool. Oh my gosh, this video is already over an hour long, but you guys probably want to watch this because you like take along. I'm going to put this in the back, actually. Sexy Wolf Man Scalloway himself. Really cool. I have this one as well. Um, I think mine is in a bit of a sorry state, so I'll probably have to retire that one. Yeah, really cool. That face it does not do him a lot of justice, though. It's not great. Put him next to... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to show my... Or get my face in the frame again. I'll walk over here. There we go. Okay. I saw something at the bottom here. Oh. Busy James. <laughs> I love that face. That is exactly like the Wooden Railway face. Um, They did a... It was like a limited edition Wooden Railway James with the, like the backboard thing for like Ellsbridge Station. This is the exact same face, and that's awesome. So let's look at the tender here. That's sick. I adore this one. Let's put him... Oh, we can do the Spider-Man thing. Yay. Guys, I'm cool now. I do memes. Yay! Cool. What do we got here? <gasps> ah, I saw his tender somewhere. Where did his tender go? My boy Neville. Bit of a creepy face. I prefer the wooden railway face, honestly, but it's not a terrible face. If his mouth was painted, I think it'd look a lot better. But this is a phenomenal toy. This looks exactly like the prop. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I love Neville's um, basis in real life. It's so cool. This tender, this tender is fantastic. There's no detail on the side, but it doesn't need the detail. It's got the lat. This is an S tier. Automatically, this is an S tier toy. This thing is phenomenal. It's such a beautiful toy. And it's in mint condition, too. It's just. Mwah. I just kissed him. It's very cold. Let's put you right back here with Gordon. Speaking of Gordon, do we have a tender for Gordon? Oh, I hope so. Just, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Oh, is this Gordon? Yep. Gordon's tender. I'm gonna move back over here now. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Who do we got here? Oh, here's Array. Hello, James. Come to learn a thing or two about trains? That's not what he says in the episode, but that's the voice. Cool. Pretty neat face. Put him right down here with Bertram, or Bert, is his informal name. Again, another Thomas. Again, in mint condition. <laughs> really cool. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, that's cute. Trevor, he looks a bit front heavy in my opinion, and I wish his wheels were red like in the episodes. Um, but you know what? Not a big deal. I wish there was actually a bit more red on this. There's a lot of green, a lot of gray, a bit of yellow. I wish there was some red at the back here. Not like a buffer beam or like buffers on the back like Max and Monty or 
butch, but just, you know, some red on the back would be nice. You could probably fit um, one of those play rail figures in uh, Trevor here. Maybe, if you took out the base plate thing. Yeah. Nice face. I like it. Dang, whoever had this collection before me probably had the best childhood. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Harvey, I love this face. This is an awesome face. He's like, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Harvey. Yeah, really cool. I, I adore this. Again, in mint condition, and I love the yellow trim all around him. It's just, ah, love it. Okay. Got a bit more space on the side here. Sorry, Cole, you're not one of my favorites, so I'll put you right here. Only the... F oh, sorry. Oliver's getting cut off. Only the f my favorite engines can go here. Just kidding. I don't really care. Oh, boy. Erroneous. I assume this came out around the time of the wooden railway one, but why does this one have the black wheels if the wooden railway one has white wheels and they were made by the same company? But I like how the narrow gauge engines are um, really, really short to insinuate how small they actually are. That's really cute. And I believe all... I don't think Duke is in here. I don't know if... Did they... Did Take Along make Duke? I think Duke is the only item missing from here. I could be wrong. I'll have to do some more research later. But I think Duke is the only character not included here. Um... Oh, another, like, rescue... Like, fire rescue... Train thing here. Oh, I thought this kind of turned on. It might. Oh, it has a. Sorry, it's still a bit wet. It has a place for a battery, so it probably does light up. Oh, you. Oh, you press the top here. Oh, it doesn't work, but whatever. Okay. Um, this oil tanker is kind of calling my name. It's pretty basic, but it's still cool. Again, the numbers down there. Don't know what that means, but it's cool. Love it. Then, learning curve, why are you putting actual oil in these um, tankers? Do you know kids are playing with these? Kids are so effing stupid nowadays. They're going to break this open and drink that. And you're going to kill a bunch of kids. Ugh. I'm sorry, I was very overdramatic there. I don't actually mean it. Are there multiple lore? Oh, dang it. I thought there were multiple lores. What is this birdie? Damn it. Birdie's cool, though. Like him. Don't like that magnet, though. I think I have a birdie, so... I'll get rid of one of them. For sure. Here's a lorry. I believe they only made one lorry, though. And it's lorry one. And he's got, um, like, some sand and some tools in the back. He's got gloves. Nice. But I believe this was the only lorry made. I think he has a little wagon. I think so. He might. I could be wrong there. Yeah, I like that he has the um, little facial hair here. That's really a nice attention to detail. Yeah, really nice. I kind of wish he... I'm going to put him by Birdie. I kind of wish he came with um, that cover that the actual models have. Instead of just sand, but oh well. What do we got? What do we got? Sir Handel. He's not Scottish, but I'll give him a Scottish voice. Ooh, that's a nice face. I like that. This is a... I, I'm going to reinsinuate what I've always been saying. This is a nice toy. <laughs> I love this thing. I love Sir Handel. Sir Handel is one of the most underrated characters, in my opinion. Loved him as a kid. Love him now. Really cool. I like that he has these big wheels as well. They're not his steamroller wheels. These are his steamroller wheels, but these ones are nice and big. I like that. Lovely. Um, let's see here. Let's get some of the rolling stock out of the way. Got a lion car. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Sorry. I thought you back there. I assume that makes noise, but there's no batteries, or the batteries aren't working. So our shipping car. Assume this came with cargo. Don't see any right now. Might be some later. Oh, there's... Oh, I, oh, okay. Oh, I think I got it. Did I got it the wrong way? Oh. It's a little crab. That's cool. I assume this goes with this. I could be wrong. I know all of you take-along fans are probably laughing your asses off. They're like, oh, you 
There's a crab car in here. You just don't know it yet. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, I mentioned her earlier, but here is Elizabeth. Lovely face. And her bucket is not attached, but I saw the bucket in the listing. So I assume it's in here. Good. Let's get her bucket attached here. There we go. I also am looking to get a wooden railway, Elizabeth, but for now, this one will do the trick. I'm going to toss her in the back as well. She can look at Jack's ass. Oh boy, what else do we got? We got so much stuff left. Oh, another favorite character of mine, Dennis. Honestly, in my opinion, the best hit era character. Because he actually has a character, and it's a good character trait. I just wish we could see him more often. I'm also looking at getting a wooden railway Dennis, so... Yeah, really nice model here. like it a lot. I'm so shocked that every single character from the model series is here. Except for Boko and a couple other one-off characters. But everybody that was in the show or relevant around this time was made into a take-and-play or take-along. I keep saying take-and-play, what the heck? Oh, what's this? Oh, this might be for Hector. Let's let's get this guy out here. Ah, that that is that is freaking awesome. I almost said the F word, but you can't say that on YouTube nowadays. Does it go the oh no, it goes this way. Maybe maybe you could flip it this way. That looks kinda dumb. I think it's supposed to go like this. Right? Nice. Like that, and I did see, um, oh, there's two. I guess both of the little trucks here have loads. I saw, uh, there were some coal loads, so you get a load. And you get a load, oh, sorry, and you get a load, yay. Fireworks car, doesn't work, don't matter though. Again, with the numbers. Um, is this just a normal brake man? Or caboose? Oh, it's a musical caboose. Doesn't play anything, so just a normal caboose. Oh, boy. Got a Easter caboose. Love it, love it. Love that green. That's kind of cool. It doesn't really go with that yellow, in my opinion, but... Oh, well, I think I, yeah, I had this. Um, I had this, um, a couple months ago, but I sold it, um, because I didn't need it. Um, zoo car, I assume this goes with that lion car that's in the back, so I'll just chuck this back there. Oh, another lion car, yay! I assume, I assume he, like, roars when you, um, press his head down here, but it's not working. Um, I want to get all the rolling stock out of the way before we look at more characters, so. Electric eels? Why would you put them in a tanker? <laughs> that's, that's interesting. That's such a wild concept, but I'd love to see just eels spew out of here. And then a jet fuel car. I have the jet engine. It doesn't really work anymore, but... I didn't see it in here. Nope. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. Right here. Jet engine. Sick. I believe these go together. There might be... Oh, I'm pretty sure this came in a three-pack with Thomas. I was going to say it came with a surprise face Thomas, but I did not see a surprise face Thomas in here. So, I guess that theory is debunked. Oh, a candy cane car. Lovely. Not removable. Doesn't matter, though. Oh, I got a little scared there. I thought um, we were missing one of Annie and Clarabel, but... Here's Annie and Clarabel. Again, not a big fan of the white wheels, but you know what? That's okay. I might... I might... I have another pair of Annie and Clarabel. I might color those wheels black and then keep these ones as white. Don't know, though. 
Um, you can't see it, but there are a couple of top. Actually, no. Screw it. Emily, get out of here. Put any Carnival behind Thomas. Lovely. Um, got Arthur here. Oh, sorry. I have Arthur. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, Fergus isn't in here. There's a take long Fergus, and I have him. Um, but Fergus is another character that is not in here. I don't know if he's rare or not, but I have him. Let's put you right next to Hector here. Okay. There's one character in here that I want to save for the end. So, do that in due time. We got another Thomas. Oh! Speak of the devil. A shocked face Thomas. I assume this came with a jet engine. So, sorry, I hit the camera again. Really cool. Love this guy. Um. Oh, part, I'm going to call him Party Percy. I assume it's probably Birthday Percy. Really cool. I don't see, nope, no more Thomases. So I don't know if there was a Birthday Thomas or not. But we got a Birthday Percy. Uh, you're nice to whiff here. I'm going to start putting more items back there. We got another standard Percy. Nice. Again, in mint condition. Okay. We're actually almost done here. Harold, the, oh god, this thing sucks. Look at that face. That is awful. I'm sorry. This is the first take-along item that I would consider to be bad. Look at that nose. That nose is ridiculous. Oh, he's kind of loose out of here. Not the best Harold toy, if I'm being honest. Uh, I prefer the wooden railway one, but this one is not bad. I think this is the exact same shape as every other Harold we've gotten in the diecast range up until all engines go. I think this is the exact same shape for the take and play, second take and play, adventures, and push along. So well, that's cool. This little back would probably moves like that. But yeah, kind of disappointing, honestly. I hate that face. That is an awful face. But I'll put you next to Percy because you guys are friends. Got another one of these weird cars here. Don't see any of the pipes, which is unfortunate, but oh well. well I guess the logs in this case because this is a Sodor Timber Company flatbed. I like the green. That's cool. I'm going to just fill up the back here. There's a ton of rolling stock behind the box here. I just didn't think that was very appealing to you all. Okay. Diesel. Another lovely, lovely item. This is another case where his actual model doesn't have the red running board, but I prefer it over having a black running board because it adds a lot of breakup to his color. Same with Donald and Douglas. I don't know if you can see, but they have red running boards here as well. Same with Emily. Hers is supposed to be brown, but it's red. And I prefer the red on Diesel here. Looks really cool. Now, this is a very slick item. I like it a lot. I love that face. S to your face. Put you like Dennis there. Your brethren. I guess not really. His brother from another mother. Okay. Got a paint car. Reminds me of the 2017 wooden railway item. I'm just going to stand up now. I keep sitting down, but I'm just going to stand up for these next ones. And I'll just stay over here now. This one's a little nostalgic to me. Um, oh, here we go. Mike. My friend had Mike. Same friend I was talking about earlier with the metallic Arian Burt. He had Mike. Um, so that was cool. That was the first time I ever found out about the character Mike. But it's fascinating that they actually made a Mike toy in 2002. Well, they made one in the 90s for Wooden Railway as well, but he wasn't even in the show. So I don't know why they made Mike, but I mean, cool. It's a nice model, but it's just a bit odd to me. <laughs> Got the uh, flatbed for the breakdown train here. Where'd the breakdown train go? I'll move him over here. Sorry, I didn't mean to assume his or assume their gender. Wait, before I do that, let's take Arthur here. He fits. 
That's cool. He's got, it's got like little grooves along the side here. So I assume you could fit any size of engine. Yep. That's pretty sick. Okay, let's put the breakdown train back here. Sorry if you can see my face. 8.30 now, okay. <laughs> wow, I'm getting real tired here. Another monkey car. Cool. Like it a lot. Let's put you back here. Um, another, oh, got a little hair. Another candy cane car. Really cool. I guess. <laughs> um, oh, this is a standard flatbed. Does the, there's another little load here. Does this go on this? I don't think so. What is this for then? Is this a normal flatbed? Oh, present car. Oh, I assume this came with presents. That was probably part of the Candy King uh, car pack thing here. That sucks. Oh, well, this is a nice flatbed to put, like, regular boxes on. And then we got another um, shipping car here that I assume this goes in. I think this is an octopus or something? Maybe a squid or a jellyfish? I don't know. But cool. B car. This came with Busy B. James, I believe. Nice. Okay. Um, this goes with the Foghorn car, same as the Wooden Railway um, 2-pack. Really cool. Alrighty. Uh, we got Rocky's two cars. Rocky's over there, so... Go right there. Um, just some empty trucks. I don't know what was in this one, but oh well. And just a normal orange truck. And of course, the best for last, probably the most common Thomas toy out there, Diesel 10. You could probably find this at your local Goodwill for 25 cents. This thing is everywhere. It's a good item too. I believe, did they make a lady? I'm, they might have, I don't remember exactly. But I think this is the only Magic Railroad um, take-along item, so, yeah. I don't like how he's dirty underneath here. That always turned me off, but, yeah. I feel like this is probably the most well-known take-along item. When you think of take-along, you think of Diesel 10 because he's everywhere. Yeah, I've actually never seen one of these in person before, so really cool. Wow, that's, uh, that's everything here. Let's get rid of this. Oh boy, that's a that's a lot of items. That that is definitely 135 items here. So I'm gonna set everything up really nicely, and then I will come back and review with you all. This is gonna take a long time though, so I'll see you on the other side. Alrighty. Oh boy, here is everything. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. They have almost every single character from 2002 to about 2007, 2008. It cuts off, coincidentally, right when um, Billy is introduced. They don't have Stanley, um, and of course they don't have Hero, because that is an extremely rare take-along. But yeah, we've got so many different items here. Let's just run through them quickly. So we got, oh, let me just fix you right there. There we go. So we got two standard Thomases. We got a Thomas with um, the Easter cars here. Um, this Thomas actually goes to the jet engine pack, I believe. And then I'm not sure what this Thomas goes to. It could be the Thomas in the special letter DVD pack. I don't know, though. And then this Thomas apparently came with some snow cars, but uh, those weren't included. So it's just normal Thomas. Uh, we got the paint sweater Thomas with the paint car back there. And then we got Edward, Henry, Gordon, James, and James. I believe you guys, if you guys know Take Along, you probably know there's that big carnival set. I believe that's where one of these Thomases, one of these Jameses, and one of these Percy's comes from. Because I don't know where this um, cotton candy uh, tanker comes from. It wasn't sold separately to my knowledge. So I believe the seller had that set, and that's why 
there's an extra Percy as well. But yeah, we got two Jameses. Uh, James goes buzz buzz with the little car back there. Um, Percy with that. He's got a little hair on him. Sorry, let me get that. Sorry, Percy. Then we got another standard Percy. And then a snowy Percy with um, the holiday cars. There's another set of the holiday cars that might go with Thomas. I don't know. But if it doesn't, then I can sell my extra snowy Percy with that to make a complete three pack. So that's cool. We got Toby here, and then we got the Celebration or Carnival Toby with um, the monkey car, the lion car, and the popcorn car. And this is where I got kind of pissed off. I was convinced they had every single character made, but they're missing two very important characters. For one, they're missing Duck. <sighs> Why? Why are you missing Duck of all characters? Come on, you got... You got Oliver, you got Daisy, but you don't have Duck, one of the first characters released. Oh, whatever. Uh, they're also missing Mavis, which is odd, but okay. Uh, and then we got the two Scots here, Donald and Douglas, looking fantastic together. We got Oliver, Diesel, Daisy, Bill and Ben. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I gotta scoot across here. Um, Stepney, Arian Burt, Diesel 10, Salty. And then another Salty that came with, I believe these are the Docks cars. I think that's what they're called. But that has the one of the aquarium cars and then the electric eels car. And then, oh, sorry. And then we got Harvey here. Let's zoom back. Oh, sorry. Let's zoom back over here. Um, there's Emily. They're also missing Fergus, but that's okay because I have Fergus. Apparently, he's a bit of a rare item. Arthur, Murdoch, Spencer. And then we go into hit characters. Molly, Neville, Dennis, Rosie, Whiff, and Billy. So that's all the characters they ever released in Take Along for Standard Gauge. Minus um, Duck. Oh, no, Duck right there. Mavis will go right here. They never made Boko. And Fergus, but I have Fergus, so that's okay. Then we go to Narrow Gauge here. We got Scarloe, Reneus, Sir Handel, Peter Sam. Rusty, and then this other Rusty came with these rescue cars. And then we got Duncan, and they did make Duke, but they made Duke in 2009, and there are no items beyond whenever Billy came out, like 2008, 2007. So that's why there's no Duke, and apparently he's a bit of a rare item. And then we got Mighty Mac, Fearless Freddy, and Colby. And then the one... <laughs> The one lone Arlsdale engine is our friend Mike. And then we got um, off-road or off-rail characters. We got Sir Tom Hatt's car, Birdie, Trevor, no Terrence. Another character that they were missing. Uh, we got Bulgy, George, Lori One. He was supposed to have a flatbed, but apparently that wasn't included. We got Butch, Elizabeth, uh, Jack, and Elfie, <laughs> Max and Monty. Um, Monty, Monty, excuse me, Ned, Madge, and Harold. Cool. I don't know if there were more pack characters made. There might have been, but I don't know. I think Byron was made. Maybe, I don't know. And then we got all, like, rolling stock. So we're starting with the characters first. So we got Annie and Clarabelle, Toad, all the troublesome trucks, Hector, and then Rocky. And then we just go down the line here. We've got this. I think that was the that was the timber car. Got the breakdown train. This was the orange car. Apparently it came with a scented orange um, cargo, which is kind of cool. Zoo cars, oil tanker, mail car. That's the Jack jumps in one. And that's the faulty whistles one. That's the smelter's yard car, I think. These are called the Misty Valley. Um fog cars i think instead of just the fog cars which is interesting we got the fireworks car musical caboose and then these are the ocean um the ocean cars what are they called oh my god sea cargo car great awesome you get it's not going in what the heck i'm sorry guys it wasn't going in that's what she said no you won't okay there, okay. And then we got a couple of miscellaneous items. Again, I'm not sure what this two-pack goes to. 
could go to that Thomas, or maybe there was another Snowy Percy, but the seller didn't include it. Random truck, another random flatbed, and then this is obviously a wooden railway piece of cargo. Um, that, I don't, I think that came with the, I don't know what the destination is called, but it's like a fishing dock kind of thing. It's kind of cool. But I really want more of those pieces, but yeah, <laughs> pretty much all these items are new to me. Um, let's see, I've got Thomas, um, let's see, who else do I have? I have a Snowy Percy, I've got a Toby, I've got the front end of a Donald, I got Oliver, I've got Stepney, I've got um, a Taken Place Salty, I've got Arthur, the front end of Murdoch, Spencer, uh, I got Scarloe, I got a 2012 Rusty, I've got Colby, nope, that's the, Re I have a Rex, I don't have Mike, I have, I think I have a Birdie still? Um, those are all new. I've got Annie, Clarabelle, and Toad. I got that truck right there. Um, let's see here. I have this Smelter's car. And I believe that's it. So yeah, all of these are pretty new to me. Um, I thought I could sell all the duplicates um, and make my money back. That's probably not going to be the case because I'm... I'm probably going to sell these Thomases. Actually, probably... Well, I don't really need those Easter cars. I, I might sell that. I'm probably going to keep this Thomas, but sell the jet engine cars. Um, I'll probably... I'll definitely sell one of the Jameses. I'll sell one of the Percys. I'll probably sell that cotton candy car, too, because I don't need it. Um, I'll sell my other Percy that I have. I'll include him with that one. I'll sell this Toby. I'll probably sell my other Donald that doesn't have the tender. I'll sell this Oliver. Um, I'll I'll see. We'll see if Liam wants this. If he wants it, Liam, you can have it. Otherwise, I'm going to sell it. Uh, I'll probably sell one of these salties. I'll sell Arthur and my duplicate Murdoch and Spencer. Sell my other Scarloe. So one of the Rusties. I might just sell that whole three pack. I don't really need those cars. I don't know. I'll sell that Coldy. If I have a Birdie, I'll sell that one. Um, I might keep that Annie and Clarabelle and paint over the other wheels. I don't know. I'll sell that Toad. Keeping the trucks. Um, I'll probably sell those like these, like that green thing. I'll probably sell um these because I don't really have a use for them. I'll sell those zoo cars because I don't really want those either. Um, yeah, I think that's that's a pretty um, decent amount of stuff going up on eBay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I want to give a huge thank you to you guys watching because if you guys didn't watch my content, I couldn't really afford to get all this. So I appreciate that. Again, I want to apologize that unscheduled stops was basically canceled. Don't know if that's going to be uploaded in the future or not. I'm leaning towards no, because it's really hard to film CGI remakes because they're really good at directing, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, the next video that's going to be uploaded on the channel is probably going to be Hunt the Truck. Might be a couple more. I don't know yet, but anyways, um, oh, let's end back down here with the three goats. Actually, look at the four goats. There we go. We'll end with the four goats here. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you again for eight years on YouTube. Um, I didn't really make a video for that. I just made the collection video, but I never told you guys um, face to face. So thank you guys so much for eight great years on YouTube. And yeah, be on the lookout for some of these extra items going up on my eBay store. They might already be up by the time this video comes out. I don't know yet. I'm probably going to start listing those on Black Friday. Who knows, though? But yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you later.